how bad does a movie genuinely have to be for it to be pulled from thousands of theaters? Oh, well, I guess 1,500 isn't thousands. But in this case, Flash is officially dead. According to this article from InsideTheMagic.com, The Flash is officially dead, reportedly pulled from theaters. Warner Brothers has given up on this movie. My God. Goodness, the Ezra Miller and the Flash experiment is officially over. Though the film was meant to be the next DC blockbuster, it failed quite dramatically, astoundingly. My goodness, failed to live up to the expectations and it is reportedly being removed from theaters. Now, this article was written on June 30th. Here we are on July 3rd as the time of this recording, and I went and checked off good old box office mojo. And what do they have to say? Oh, my goodness. It went from Thursday, June 29th, 4,256 theaters. The weekend of June 30th. Did I say July 29th? I think I did. Or did I? I don't know. Did I? Let me know. June 30th weekend, 2,718. Oh, pulled from over 1,500 theaters. My goodness. That is only after two weeks, Friday, Friday, yep, third weekend, pulled from 1,500 theaters. That tells you everything you need to know. If you enjoyed the movie, hey, good for you, but it was not making any money whatsoever. The first weekend, you got almost an 81% drop-off. Going into the second weekend, almost a 70% drop-off, probably close to 65 based on the entire weekend. You're probably looking at a 65% drop off from week to week, from second week to third week. That is absolutely abysmal. DC has stuck behind the rock and a hard place for many years. And though the DCEU Snyderverse is officially ending, there have been a few holdouts from the era of films. Shazam 2 failed. Flash failed. Aquaman 2 a do we'll have to wait and see if that movie is going to be doing any good and also the blue beetle is also coming up so oh flash uh, aquaman 2 are the last films with significant ties to the area era before james gunn took over dc films and absolutely tanked all movies coming after it because he came out and said hey everything coming out we're rebooting the entire dc universe and the movies and the animation and all this other stuff so yeah more than likely that had a major role in turning people away from these movies. It couldn't have possibly been people's opinions of Ezra Miller, but what do I know? What makes matters worse is that between those three films and the upcoming Blue Beetle DCU venture, Warner Brothers will reportedly spend upwards of $1.2 billion to promote and release them. The studio had hoped to recoup some of that money by all these films turning into blockbusters. Not going to happen. Though that has not been the case. Oh, it's it's not been the case. It's not going to be the case. You'd be lucky if Blue Beetle, Beetle makes its money back. I don't know how much of a niche audience that is going to be. Hmm. If it's any good, again, I, I say this over and over. I'm a broken record. Word of mouth will make or break the movie. If Blue Beetle comes out and it's just this wonderful, fantastic spectacle of cinematography and storytelling, hey, it could start making money likelihood of that, especially with James Gunn running his mouth? I don't think so. The Flash had a meager $64 million opening, oh, during a four-day weekend, making it one of the worst domestic openings for DC. The film has also experienced massive drops in attendance as the weeks have passed. The Warner Brothers hoped it would go beyond its reported $300 million budget. No, they hoped for way more than that. Again, Production budget was $300 million. That does not include the, include the advertising budget and the theater's cut of the ticket sales. So $300 million plus a guesstimate of half of that for advertising brings you to $450 million. Double that because theaters take a cut. You get $900 million. This is another box office bomb in a summer of I don't know, hit or miss. Would you call? I think I would call it hit or miss instead of absolutely abysmal showings for all these studios. Disney's failing. Warner Brothers didn't do too good with this one, but we've got a few more movies left in the pipeline before James Gunn starts up his little endeavor. 
Even Fandango has been, oh, Fandango has been offering buy one, get one free offers for the film, though that likely did not work. No kidding, because nobody wants to see the movie. They saw it already, or they heard about how bad it was, and it was bad. Atrocious CG. So, Flash is being removed from 1,500 theaters from the Disc Father projection. That was just a guess, but again, come back over here. It was not a guess. It unfortunately happened. According to Industry Insider, The Flash, will, well, Disc Father, let's give credit where credit's due. He reported on this one first. The Flash will be reportedly moved from 1,500 theaters. Removed by... Thir According to Industry Insider, I'm sorry, folks, I do this all the time. I know I'm not the greatest speaker in the world, but when I read something like this, and it doesn't make sense in my brain, my English just goes off the rails. You think I would be better speaker? I don't know. According to Industry Insider, the Disc Father, the Flash will be reportedly removed by 1,500 theaters. That, no, removed from, not by, from. Ah, while this might sound impossible, it wasn't, ladies and gentlemen. The variables mentioned above might prove it's true. Who needs variables? The weekend's over. We saw it. It happened. Warner Brothers gave up on this movie. The fans gave up on this movie. For whatever reason, some websites have claimed, oh, they weren't able to promote it because the late night talk show hosts. We blame the writer's strike. See what we're losing in the writer's strike? You can't promote the movie. Didn't have anything to do with Ezra Miller and his uh, extracurricular activities and arrests. Or... What did I say? Did I say James Gunn already? I think I did. But that's all I've got. This is an unfortunate thing because ultimately we want good entertainment. We want good movies. We want these movies to succeed. But in order for them to succeed, well, they have to be good. Relatively good. Halfway decent. I don't know. Illumination did well with the Super Mario Brothers movies. Made over a billion dollars. Tom Cruise did a fantastic job with Maverick 2. That made over a billion dollars. Uh, James Cameron, Avatar, Way of the Water, made over a billion dollars. No idea how much money that franchise needs to break even, but it, regardless, it made over a billion dollars. This can be done. How? Maybe with good writing, good story, good CGI that you actually give the studios time to complete, heaven forbid. And how do you get good writing? You put the story first. Maybe... Perhaps, I don't know, put the story first, give us some good shows, and we will spend our money in any way, shape, or form. Just, we'll have to wait and see what the rest of the year gives us. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is, uh, I don't know, is this a surprise? Is this a shock? Did you like the movie? Did you watch the movie? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. I appreciate you making it this far. Have a good one.